So what we're going to do is going to wait until the filter drains out. And then we're going to take this oil. We're going to put it into like an empty uh, bottle or something. And then bring it to places that accept oil like Walmart or Jiffy Lube or other places so they can dispose of the oil properly and save the environment. Moving on, we're going to the filter. And this is it, the mobile one, uh, they just came out with this. It's the mobile one extended performance. It protects for up to one year or 20,000 miles. That's pretty good. And then I'm going to use this mobile one extended performance, which is guaranteed for 15,000 miles. And we're going to uh, pour a bit into a, ca into a cap. And then we're going to take the filter. We're going to uh, spread a bit of uh, the oil on the rim so that when you put it in, it seals tight. Because when you put oil on rubber and you screw it in, it's really tight. So you want to put it on the rim. Uh, you know, some people usually like to have a field day, pour oil in this, and then just dump it in there. But uh, when you're tight, when you're putting it in, it just drips on you. So uh, I wouldn't recommend that. So now I'm going to uh, screw in the filter and make sure that you don't use any tools and just do it by hand. Uh, in my case, I might have to ask my dad to do it. I'm not that strong, but back under the car. Go. Ah, I can move Alright, so now we're gonna tighten it. I mean, we're gonna screw it in. I mean, when you screw it in, you tighten it, but, uh, uh, all right, only using hands. Am I actually grasping it? All right, make sure that you tighten it by hand. I already have it right here. No tools needed. And as you see, when I was unscrewing it, it was, it was like really, it was like, uh, you had to twist it a lot. I'm just, I mean, gloves might not be the opportune thing because they always slip, mm. but uh, I'm going to do the best I can with the gloves on. It's better to not uh, tighten it too much than over tighten it because when you're done and you turn the engine on, uh, the heat is going to expand the metal and the next day you can put a uh, paper underneath and check for leaks and if you over tighten it, and that's gonna cause the metal to expand. It's gonna cause it's gonna cause the um, filter to become damaged, and you don't want that. So right now we're gonna go back and uh, tighten this using the torque wrench. Now, not many people uh, use the torque wrench, but it's a bit more of the safe option with a wrench. For instance, you can tighten it, and it, when it stops, you can always just tighten it like one eighth of the turn, and you're good to go. But it's it's more safe option for a torque wrench because when you get to the actual set amount, it clicks. For this one, I think it's sent to 19 or 29. Uh, so right now I'm going to tighten it. It might be best if I allow clearance. Actually, I don't. Better. All right. So we're gonna tighten it right now. All right, it clicked. That means you're good to go. All right. On the to clarify, the we set the torque wrench to 30. The actual set one is 29 for this Honda Civic. So we're going to do a review on the torque wrench later. <laughs> so I suggest you check it out in my future uh, vi videos. The Pittsburgh click type torque wrench.